Oh no! The leg fell. You put plates on it. What? Wait! It's not just any time. What the hell? How's it going everyone? Yeti Boy Core here, aka Crasher, back with a new video and ladies and gentlemen in today's video we are going to be checking out crafting a crafting system how we make minecraft episode two let's get into this man i can't wait to see it now guys make sure you show the original video some love links all stuff will be in the description box down below let's get into this let's do it Woo! i gotta say that opening is so adorable they look so chibi should I start a band? I've always wanted to be in a metal folk band or folk metal band. Can't read. Act. How we make Minecraft. Let's go. A step-by-step -step guide to ripping us off. Episode 2. Crafting a crafting system. Step 1. Respect the craft. Alright. And... Whoa. <laughs> that is some old as looking footage, man. Wow. <laughs> that, wait, they all look the same. But why is crafting so satisfying? Imagine it. Well, I I I like crafting things. And the the table is now now in the possession of the person. They just bought it. Oh snap! All right. Well, that is true. I, I, I crafting things does feel good. You know what I mean? Oh no! The leg fell. You put plates on it. What? Wait! It's not just any table. What the hell? Your table. How does that even happen? Why did the plate and Steve's head catch fire? <laughs> Doctor Alex says, "Please do not take medical advice from this series." Duly noted. Duly noted. <laughs> Step two, start simple ish. One of the first All right. things you see in Minecraft is the crafting grid. All right, this is yep. too small to build a lot of the stuff in the game. So we should change it to a bigger grid, right? Okay. Ah, my eyes! What the fuck? For me away from them. What the hell? That's better. The yeah, I was gonna say, like it's designed to encourage you to experimentally. <laughs> Four is them, all you need. But not be too intimidating. Alright. It's the first step of progression. So Let's see what we got here. It won't be long until you discover <laughs> what? one of Minecraft's most basic recipes. Oh, there you go. Crafting table, baby. It'll give you access to a new crafting table. That's what you need. A gigantic, gargantuan, mega huge size of <laughs> three by three. Yep. I know. I'm scared too. Let's let's see this. What do you think is the most unintuitive crafting All right. recipe in Minecraft? Oh, well, you make a fishing rod. And there we go. And a wooden sword. Nice. A wooden axe. <laughs> Step three. Be logical. Feeling irrational? Why not buy 10,000 coffees? That was too fast to, to read. There's the wooden pickaxe. So you needed five feathers to craft a wooden pickaxe. Well, that logic huh? doesn't really track. Not only is it bad news for the local chicken population, uh -oh. you can annoy players and make them lose faith in the logic of our crafting system. Yeah. We'll end up with <laughs> millions of angry feather collectors protesting our Oh, they're all pissed. Least of all me. I'm very ticklish. Oh Please my god. You better hope you have an underground so bunker. We finally added the demand <laughs> and added the keyboard. To oh my. A keyboard in Minecraft? What the hell? What does he look like? I've gone with three note blocks in the middle. A okay. Formation, a bit like the shape of a keyboard. <laughs> and two obsidian blocks for legs. Hopefully, that's enough visual hints to help the player what? figure the recipe out. Themselves. Okay. If the keyboard has <laughs> used a common block like wood, then it becomes one of the easiest and therefore most commonly constructed All right. items in Minecraft. <laughs> Takes nine of those to make a piano, apparently. It also breaks the structure of the game. <laughs> Good luck surviving your first night if our stupid design choices yeah. have misled you into building a bunch of keyboards. To yeah. Uh oh. Well, you better play that tune quick. Oh no! Break the player's stuff. So oh no. Durability, Minecraft can be a bit of a bully. Well, no shit. Barely dug up anything. Snap your shovel or pick apart your pickaxe. 
Oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> that was so pathetic. I can't even bring myself to attack you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at the diamonds! Ooh! Step five make them place every block. The structure of crafting hasn't really changed much in Minecraft, and that isn't just because we're lazy. We know other There's the fishing rod again. But in Minecraft, we only let you place one block at a time. And we lock you into a first-person perspective. Okay. Though it'd be easier to press a mobo button that makes mobo craft for you. Uh, oh no, not mobo again! <laughs> oh god. We've made a massive oversight by not giving our players massive oversight, but that's by design. This way makes it more immersive. Oh and my god. More fun. If we had you just clicking through menus to place blocks on mass, <laughs> then Minecraft would quickly stop feeling like a game. And more like filling out a tedious spreadsheet. Yeah. Hands on crafting. I don't like tedious things. That we think makes Minecraft special. <laughs> when you finish a build, like say, this epic castle. An epic castle made of dirt, I might add. Knowing you placed every block and crafted every tool. When you say which is the correct way to do a crafting system, otherwise all the other oh, my Lord. games might stop talking to us. <laughs> But it's our approach, and we think it's a crucial part of Minecraft. I mean, as long as Set is able to keep the enemies out, then who am I to judge? End of lecture. And okay. You have it. What would you like us to cover in the next episode? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Oh, I can't wait to see the next episode, man. Shampoo did the developers use because that's what the next episode is about. See you next time. <laughs> All right. Okay. That was. You know, a pretty, pretty interesting episode. <laughs> wow. I gotta say, like, I really like this series so far. The first episode, though, that was more hilarious than this one. But this episode was still amazing. I love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's evaluation time. Let's get into this, fam. So I want to talk about some of my favorite parts out of this video. And one of them being the fact that the narrator was going over his impressive portfolio of the variety of buildings that he had crafted. And they all look the same. They all look like the same dirt houses. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Oh my god. I also love how this video kind of turns into a life lesson as well. Check me out on this. It is one thing to buy a bunch of things. I mean, yeah, sure, you buy it, you don't have to build it, and it just sits there looking all fancy and pretty and all that stuff, and that's pretty much it. But one of the most fun things about Minecraft is grinding, is farming, it is crafting things, building things from scratch. Because if you were to buy everything in Minecraft, well, that pretty much takes the fun out of the Minecraft game, period. It's a lot more fun and more satisfying to farm these things and build them yourself. However, I will say it is quite infuriating when the stuff that you build suddenly catches fire. I mean, no one likes it when their stuff suddenly catches fire. I mean, everyone hates that, right? I also love the part in the step three portion of the video where instead of you having the wooden materials to make a wooden pickaxe, you need to have feathers in order to have a wooden pickaxe, which means that there's going to be a lot of chickens being slayed here, and I think that's definitely, definitely going to upset a lot of players either way, because what good are feathers, honestly? I mean, in this situation here, you would need to have feathers in order to craft shit, but it would be one hell of a major annoyance. And guaranteed, a lot of players would rage quit if they found out that this twist was involved in the game. Those are just a few of my favorite things out of this video. The entirety of this video was absolutely great. It was really, really funny. So what are some of your favorite moments out of this video that we had just reviewed and reacted to? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. I'd love to hear from you. And ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, that's going to be wrap up here for this video. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly, guys, smash it up in the comments down below. Because I love, love, love hearing from you guys. Always have, always will. That ain't ever going to change, baby. You can believe that.
Woo! So thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone. And as always, your boy, we'll see you guys in the next one.